Hello, everybody. It is that time of the night again. Back into more Dark Souls 2 today. I might hope I'm not too loud for you. I hope I may have fixed my mic and my camera. It may have been a simple issue. I hope. Fingers crossed. But I'll have to find out one way or another. Um, before we jump into the game, we're going to spin our wheel like we normally do. Let's see what we're going to use as an item for the day. I'm hoping for a wild card, actually. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Another plushie. Uh, most of my plushies are either video game, anime, well, no, they're mostly video game and content creator related. One exception being an anime plushie. So, who do we want to go with today? Uh, I guess we'll go with the newest one to collection. Um, one of my favorite content creators, I guess. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't find my mouse. I'm on the wrong camera. Da -da, da -da. There we go. So, this is Rev from Rev Says Death Soup. Um, honestly, one of the few content creators whom I'm still watching on a regular basis. Only because his videos are more short form compared to a lot of other content creators whom I watch. The game was not exited properly. Oh, I never put it. I never put the hoe in my last time. I just fucking. No important, not important. So, Rev says Desu. Very popular and also apparently controversial uh, content creator. He does a lot of anime video game news and uh, keeps up on current events. And it's probably the only source of any news that I really pay attention to. Because I try and isolate myself from reality as much as possible because reality sucks. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, I have a couple different Rev um, items. And by a couple, I mean two? Two. The other one being one of the uh, shaker cups that I turned from is the other Rev item I use. Um, I think that's all I have for Rev. For now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um if you're a fan of anime news, controversy, and shit like that, I'd recommend Rev. Um if you're not a fan of that kind of shit, keep it to yourself. Everyone's allowed to like what they like. So Rev is gonna shit shit sit, right? Is Rev gonna sit? Rev's gonna sit. Rev's gonna sit right there. And we are going to jump into Dark Souls 2. I have to sort this better because I got fucking so many tabs opened up over here. Okay. And we are going to close our music and jump into the game and pray to fucking God we don't have any hardware issues today. If I'm... Uh, it's gonna sound stupid when I say it out loud. Because it's pretty fucking stupid. But if I'm right, the hardware issues are coming from the fact that um, I have my mic and camera plugged into the same uh, USB hub. Because the way I have everything set up, it's kind of a fucking... I would need either two 10-foot extension cords to get to the mic and camera or a USB hub. And I'm pretty sure the USB hub doesn't get enough power as it is to power both of them at once. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, reliably. Um, so when my first USB hub started to have issues, I uh, bought a powered USB hub. Plugged into my power strip I have over there. And there you, 
keeps everything running. Now, the problem is that when I shut everything down, that back feeds. So if I leave it plugged in and shut everything down, then my mouse pad here and some of the lights on my computer, they powered on even when the computer shut off. Because some of the lights on the computer are USB plugins. So I need to unplug that USB hub at the end of every night. And if I don't remember to plug it in, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't make any, it doesn't do anything at all. It won't make any, any difference. So I, for a while I stopped plugging it in. Then suddenly I started having hardware issues. So I'm thinking that's the problem. It sounds stupid out loud. It's pretty fucking stupid. I'm pretty fucking stupid. That might cause an issue too. But that's usually something I remember to do is uh, the phone mount that I have for the for my phone slash webcam slash whatever you want to call it is uh, also a wireless charger and sometimes it will pick up the wireless charger and overpower the, the uh, plug-in power and when it does that it will disconnect the webcam capabilities. But that's not what we're here for today. You're not here to listen to me fucking bullshit and ramble. We're going to deal. S no, we're not going to deal C's yet. I looked it up. I'm blind as a bat. We're going to get the king set. Because <laughs> my goddamn tunnel vision didn't see the fucking tunnel. Uh, it's been a hell of a day. Everything that could go wrong today went wrong today. And I've just been trying to get through. Go away. How did that do so much damage? Oh, I hate this area. And due to my own hubris, I have to keep coming back here. Would you drop? Charm. The worst thing they could drop. I mean, it could be... It, it's, it could be better. It could be worse. I mean, okay, this room where I found the soul at, there's a fucking path here that I completely missed three times when I came to this fucking room. <laughs> There's the king set. Why would you not just put it all in that chair? What does this look like on me? Ring mail, Vengar's mail. King's armor. Doesn't look terrible. It's too... I Let me take this fucking ring off. A little bit fluffy around the neck. Not the worst armor. I might stick with this. Are the leggings any better than Vengar's? Is the real question. No, they are not. How the hell do Vengaro's leggings have the best base defense of all light armor sets? Like, Havels are the only thing right now I have that... Havels and Smelter Demon are the only things I have right now that have a higher defense stat than this. And they're not even, like... Even for us as Lion Knights, a motley crew of rabid fighters kept him at arm's length. Like, are their pants? Why are they so goddamn dirty? Alright. What about the King's Gauntlets? I can still roll. And the crown? Honestly, I mean, it's not a helmet, but... I look adorable. And 
we're gonna get another crown. Uh, no. Stage feather. Dragon charm? Dragon charms. Okay, restore these pieces. So yeah, those aren't terrible drops. I, um... Hold on, do I have one? I have a staff of mana, so I'm not worried about their drops anymore. Yeah, so that's fine. If they keep dropping dragon, if they keep dropping dragon charms every time I stop by here, that's not a terrible, terrible drop. Normally, that staff doesn't drop very commonly. I think that's why I only have one. It's one of my. Overall. Dark Souls 2 is not a bad game. It just had some very bad ideas. Um, one of which being... Where's Creighton's Mail? This is a hell of a lot better than Creighton's Chain Mail. So one of the issues being that... The, the artificial difficulty issue. One I will constantly bitch about in this game. Uh, but instead of making a rewarding fight, a rewarding enemy that you want to fight, they just throw large scale battles at you. And a prime example is that stretch on the way to Velstat. For a new player who is unaware of that bell underneath the stairs, that hallway is a death sentence, no matter what. There's also the path leading up to the Smelter Demon, uh, paths leading up to most of the bosses in this game, honestly, are death sentences if you're not prepared for them. The slog leading up to Sinner's Rise, the slog after Sinner's Rise, the fact that you need to clear the entire room every time you want to talk to Strayed. There's a lot of, a lot of like, gauntlets that you have to just run through if you every time you mess up. One of my big issues with this game. Second one being, the extremely low drop rates on one chance items. And the fact that you need to use aesthetics just to get a second chance at these low rate items that you still might not get again is infuriating to say the least hello oh you take a lot of hits wisdom was um good examples of that would be the old mirror great sword the witch doctor mask the painted guardian set that katarina set full armor sets that you have a five percent chance of getting one piece of Holy shit. <laughs> and the enemies that drop those sets don't respawn. You need to use a bonfire aesthetic to get them to respawn. Which, in the case of the Katarina set, is one thing, only because it's in a completely avoidable area with no boss tied to it, so every time you fight him, you can just reset the area. In the case of the Painted Guardian, though, it's in an area that's tied to a boss. Meaning you need to wipe that boss every time you want a chance of getting that 5% drop. Which is not a good look. Forgot about those. That should make that a little bit more bearable. Get out of here. Oh shit, I haven't done the Dark Lurker yet. We'll come back to that. Uh uh. Ah. Okay. So those pillars that I just hit move these towers which 
can either open paths or block archers, which are their main two uses right now. Um, honestly, the DLCs in Dark Souls 2 are a little bit lacking, to say the least. Um, Sunken City is not terrible. Ilium Lois is not bad at either. Iron Keep, or the Iron King and Iron Keep DLC, I don't like it. It's not, like, even in these, among these lackluster DLCs, the Iron Keep one is the worst one of the trio. Haha. -ha. Hello there. I need to look up weapons in this game and find a decent quality weapon for this point. Because I don't want to stick with this morning star. It's not holding very well at this point. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. One of these DLCs has to have a decent quality weapon, right? Actually, I mean, it's going to be end, end, end game before I get it. But yeah, the Ilium Lois DLC does have a decent quality weapon. But it's, as I said, end, end, end game. So by the time I get it and make use of it, the only thing I'm going to be honestly fighting with it is going to be the Chandra. Where do I go from here? Do I do this? Haha! -ha, ah! Nothing even here. Yeah, careful. Too far. Oh, fuck. Now for the bad news. There's no way back up from here. I don't remember the way through this DLC because it's been a little... Ah. When was the last time I played Dark Souls 2? I think it's been a few years at this point. Let me check my YouTube and I can tell you. Ooh. No, it's going to take a while for me to get here. A year ago. So boy, it has been six years. God damn. Okay. Yeah, it's been six years since I... Six or seven years since I played Dark Souls 2. I didn't think it was that long ago. Holy shit. Out of the way, please. I'm hoping one of them drops their mace. Aha. Uh -huh. Follow me if you can... I missed. Help me! I don't think there's any other triggers. Unless... From down here... Can I see one? Yes, I can. Can I hit it? No, I can't. There's gotta be one I can see from down here, right?
We're off to a fantastic start with this DLC, ain't we? Stuck again. I, at this point, I should just equip this damn thing. Uh, damn, 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 damn. Alright, take three, four, you, you get the idea. Poison stone, useless. Did not expect that to actually... Hassling somewhere, right? Yeah, this one does. Oh boy, you guys hit hard. Oh, you want? Oh, there's a guy, bud. There's both of them. Well, thank you. You guys can get on your merry way if you would. I insist you guys go home. You're a stubborn lot. A lance? You're not the same guy who's chasing me. Hey. Poison and <sighs> you listen here. Where the hell are you at? You're gonna get your just desserts. Are these urns filled with anything? No, thank God. But these rooms are a pain in the ass because of the bugs in them. So we're just going to go. Okay. Elizabeth Mushroom. That was worth the sprint. Okay, so this is a loop. There's nothing else in here. Yeah, these are corrosive bugs. God damn it. And it seems like the cloud they spit is indefinite. And now they're all in the way. So, I may be in a little bit of a predicament. Scooch, please. Oh, okay, so they do eventually stop. Hey! Uh, ah, this is where we gotta go. 
The DLCs, well, at least the Sunken City one, I think. Okay, we can't. Uh, 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 happy, happy, happy noises. You can kill those things. I'm so happy that they made poison statues even worse. So if you can't tell, down at the bottom that I'm shooting at, that's a crystal lizard. That somehow got these statues melted to its top half. More bugs in there. Unfortunately, I am a loot goblin, so I have to check every nook and cranny. Even if I don't want to. Clear out some of these before I dive in here head first. Alright. Go, 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 go. Are you dick? Golden fruit. Come on then. Come on. I have to go back in there. But at least now they've dropped, so I can get a good shot at them. There was a third one in here, right? Or was there these two? Looks like it was just two. I hope it was just two. Ooh. I don't like that. Old growth bomb. I don't I think the bombs were like were they health items? Cracked red eye orbs. Oh that's right, we never did the crushed orb. A lot of shit I just happened to forget, huh? Where's those bombs at? Oh, those are crotches. Oh, bombs. Okay, they temporarily increase stats. The strength one's good. That'll be useful for me. Probably in the Iron Keep DLC. But. Let's go this way. The first half of this DLC is a little bit of a maze, but I always have a little bit of a hard time getting through. Now oh, that she's making all that noise. Um, once I get to the inner sanctum, I'll have an easier time with the DLC because it's pretty straightforward from there. Problem is, I'm going for a 100% run, so... Here's the Sanctum. And there's a way in. Since I'm going for a... God damn it. So, since I'm doing a 100% run... And trying to get as many trophies as I can on this first playthrough... I'm going to need to do some exploring. Because there are some miracles in this place, or in this DLC that are required for the trophy. One of them in particular, I don't remember what the miracle is, but I remember where it's at. It's going to be a pain in the ass. And unfortunately, I just did a big old fucking loop, so we're right back where we started. Again.
Come on. How are you guys suddenly have the most accurate hitboxes? on my face. I'd like for one of you to drop a weapon. Whether or not I use it is a different story, but I'd like you to drop a weapon. First arrow seemed to fly really low. That looked off to me. God damn you two. If I didn't think I seen a shiny thing over here, I wouldn't come back for you. How do you still have any health? Poison moss. Okay, I did see a shiny thing. Is this the way I was supposed to drop? On to here. You guys are going to get up. But neither of you have any means of getting to me. So I can play bitch. A little bit further, man. Put it down. Put it down. This helmet or this crown gives me stat buff, doesn't it? I'll have to check what stats and buffs when I'm done with these two knuckleheads. But I think it said intelligence and faith. Okay, this is where I was just at. So, Sanctum Shitty. Ah, shit. I just aggroed a bunch of things I didn't want to aggro. We're, we're gonna run. This is the way I need to go. Still leading? No, they're still... They're not coming. I see you there. Back on the ground. I didn't give you permission to get up. Who the fuck are you? Hey, a message. I didn't see one of them in a while. Projectile required ahead. I see it. Thank you, kind stranger. Yes. I have no idea what that did. Is it just you? You're in a very predicament spot. 
Oh, you dirty bastards. Well, come on now. Beat these guys so much. This is what I meant with artificial difficulty. You have limited ways of dealing with these crowds. Except for drawing one of them out at a time. It doesn't feel rewarding to deal with these guys. Especially when the rewards are minuscule at best. Draw an arrow. Draw an arrow. How? Take a swing. Okay, where's that item I missed? Down here. Okay, is this where... Yes. I, I, I see you in there. Okay, so this is where that spell is at that I particularly remember. Somehow or another, there is a button down there right behind those statues. And in getting to it requires a little bit of ingenuity. Less because of being able to see it, more because of invisible fucking walls. And identifying what it actually considers a hit. So that's a hit. At least there's a more optimal place to be standing to make this shot, but... There we go. Furthermore, even if I do hit that button, going in there is a one-way ticket, and we're going to have to make this whole loop again. We're going to... I don't think there's any other bonfires in the area, honestly. The nearest one's probably a minute away. But with this path... Oh, wait, there's a bonfire right there. Cool. It tells you how much I remember the DLCs. I'm not going to rest there yet. It's lit, so I can fast travel to it. Is there a safe place to drop... These all look like drop points, but if I drop, will I be able to get back? Signs are pointing to yes, and I'm going to hope for the best. Hello there. Pardon. Didn't mean to spook you. Rude. Mind me. Oh, 
Oh, you cheeky bitch. Poison moss. I don't remember if you guys dropped their weapons or if I have to actually find them. Okay, where am I at? Okay, we're right here. Good. Okay, from here? In here? Oh. I thought, uh... Hi. Yes, go that way, please. Don't come back. They turn the most annoying thing in this entire game into a mobile enemy. Ah, uh, this DLC is... Not even just this DLC, all the DLCs are frustrating in their own way. Not sweat plus seven. Promise walk of peace. So this is a living tree. What are the blood stains for? There's not much in this area. Poison damage, isn't it? Bunch of people who died from poison damage. Shoot it in the eye, I think. Shoot in the eye, I think. Can I kill this? I thought I could. I swore this thing could be killed, but I guess maybe I'm wrong. There's no explanation as to what the fuck it is. It's just here. So we're just gonna leave. I got what I came here for. That... I believe that's... tied to one of the bosses in this area. <clears throat> Much with like with all the other areas in the game, we'll come back and clear out the, area, the items I missed. Especially if they're um, important or unique items such as weapons and armor sets or spells and miracles. I'm less concerned about like souls and consumables than I am those, but... That looks like it's gonna hurt. That looks like it's gonna hurt less. Okay, what's over here? Okay, that's the room I killed them in. So it is very important that you make this run properly. The first time. Because it'll make things a hell of a lot easier if you do. Hi, Sin. Hi, Sin. Thank you, Sin. Make sure you thank your friends when they help you out. Let me make sure I've got audio. Yeah, okay. Always pays to double check. I don't think I need a key to open the store, right? Yeah, it's opened on its own. Okay, Dragon Sanctum is... A how do I put this? Not a difficult area, but it's the 
got a gimmick. A very, very notable gimmick. Or two. Uh, one of them being these push buttons to open these doors. The other ones being these guys. So as you just seen, he was invisible there until I shot that coffin. These guys are unkillable until their coffins are destroyed. Each one of them has a sarcophagus attached to them. So for every one of these guys in the DLC, you need to first find their sarcophagi. Does he not know how stairs work? I don't think he does. Oh, no, he figured it out. These guys, I do believe, do drop their stuff. Okay, and they do flurry attacks, which are fun. Oh, you were a pain in my ass. Get on the ground. I don't remember how, the, how low the drop rate is, but these guys do drop their equipment. I believe. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Bonk. That is one of the things that Dark Souls 2 did right. And that is the backstab animations in this game. They are wonderful. I don't think you have latches on you, but let's make sure. One of these is probably a mimic. There's a lot of them. And it's unlateral for them to put all of these in here and not have one of them be a mimic, right? No, I guess it's just a treasure room, but let's keep our shield out just in case. Uh, destructive great arrows. I don't have a great bow. Had arena helm. Okay, so they put that in the DLCs. I forgot about that. Prior to that, they were exclusively to one Red Phantom in the base game before the DLCs came out. But now I remember there are pieces of the set scattered throughout this DLC, I think. And a slap. Holy shit. Okay. Can I just take that sword? Oh, that's right, I did make a... Uh... Yeah, these guys. They get better. Because you know what makes enemies more fun to fight is status effects. From standing next to them. dealing with this. They still coming or they leash out? Seems like they leash back in. Yeah. These guys are not fun. I do not like constant poison damage. Okay. Wait for my poison meter to go back down. Deal with this guy. Ah, uh, shit, he's got friends. All I did was change. They're all, all three of Magra, didn't they? One. Two. 
Well, come, friend. Okay, the third one didn't aggro, it looks like. That said, my morning star is starting to take a beating. Oh, he got up. He just didn't fully aggro. And then there's these priestesses. Manageable because they stun very easily if you shoot them in the face. But they do hit hard. Probably a poison trap, right? Ho ho to how to guess. How do you fucking hope? Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Bring a bow with you in this DLC, friends. Bonfire set X. We doesn't have latches on the front. Probably trapped again though. Nope. Hong Kong Titan Knight and Dragon Bow. And both of those are very nice. Hi. Okay, that worked out. That said, I'm going to want to open this for a speed to get through next time. Okay, then. Because that's not happening. There should be... a lot of things in this stairwell. Not all of them good. This is 100% a jump scare fucking monster closet stairwell. Okay, so there's a stone door there, which means there's a button nearby. And a hole in the floor. Yeah, that hole in the floor leads to a bug pit. Opens this door. Hi. You on your own? It'd be nice if you are. God damn it. Poison. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only trigger. That being said, let's go. Okay, let's go back. Okay. 
I missed the button on the main stairwell. You don't have clasps on you, and you don't have clasps on you, but there's a lot of blood stains here. Hope stone and bleed stone, those are useless. Probably died to poison damage. I don't know what he died to, but it didn't look fun. Twinkling Titanite and Dragon Bones. Nice again. Okay, he's down in the stairwell. There's another button I missed. Might be that one there. Yeah, uh, why is nobody rate that? That's actually good. I missed that entire area on my first run through this game. Or through this DLC. Many, many moons ago. I oh, fuck, I almost stepped, almost just did it. I heard footsteps. No. Puzzling sword. Puzzling sword's a fun one, but it's also a useless one. Uh, it's a straight sword. Somewhere. Is it not a straight sword? There it is. So, S scaling and dex, but E scaling and strength. Both not bad, but... Odd move set as it is for the base swing. And the R2 gives you this whip. Whip attack. That's the R1 two handed, which is also a very odd move set. And then you get these twirly bits when you do the R2. I've never actively seen anyone using the puzzling sword. Ever. Or with a segmented blade. When swung, its segments separate, and a sword strikes in a whipping slash. <clears throat> Crafted with a rare magnetic stone of remarkable strength, only found deep within caves of the gutter. Really? A gutter sword? Alright. But yeah, I've never seen anyone actively use that thing in any sort of reliable sense. It's an odd one, to say the least. Where's my morning sword at? Alright, somewhere... Excuse me. Somewhere in this hallway I missed a... No, I guess I have to drop down the bug hole. Okay, that's the actual bug bug hole. This is the way forward. Which is a nightmare. Because there's ghosties here. Nope, wrong way. There's the ladder. Up, 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 up. You bitch. No, nope, back up. If I were more prepared, what the hell are you? Uh, while well, I'm here. This is a weird one because you have to be standing in a perfect spot each time to hit that button. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. 
I'll be back for you two. Okay, we're in the death room. So I'm probably gonna die in here. Unless I can lure these guys into holes. Every one of these... I think these are the last ones of these uh, sarcophagi. So every one of the enemies that from now on are invisible are going to be tied to this room. And this fake Avalon wielding jackass here. That said, they are extremely susceptible to falling down these holes when they get too close. So maybe I have a chance. Come on, ghosty. You know you want to. Yeah, he wanted to. Me and you, friend. Oh. Listen. Listen, Linda. Oh, I missed one. Lost in here. There we go. Sarnctum key. I think that leads to the... There's another one? Oh, that's right. I never got that one. He jumped off the cliff. Uh, Sanctum Knight Helm. Okay, so Sanctum Knights are those dual-wielding ones, and the Sanctum Soldiers are the ones that we ran into outside. Uh, try Stealth and then Projectiles. Yeah, that wasn't an option. Whatever you're trying, don't try it. God, God damn it. Forgot about that. Had an itchy leg. Every goddamn enemy in this game. Trap. Actual trap. Actual trap. Oh no! More poison gas. Not like I'm already poisoned. So these two should have went back to their default spots, right? I'm not seeing them. They can, now that they're in physical manifestation, they can get hit, hurt by these spike traps. He's right there. Where'd the other one get to? Does he get hurt by the spike trap? I wonder. Oh, come on. I was behind you. You're a dick. You're not fun. There's a button around here somewhere. There. And there's another man down here. I don't actually remember what that button did. So the singing gets way louder when we get down to that main sanctum. For a very obvious reason, as we'll see... Maybe tonight. There we go. Did I not hit this? I never hit this one because I was being chased for my fucking life.
Better not be a trap. Dragonstone. Okay, let's gather all the loot in here now that everything's dead. Switch ahead, therefore, down required. Ah. That's what that opened up. A bonfire? Thank God. Let me get all the loot in this area before. Sanctum crossbow. Is that the three-shot one or the one-shot one? I mean, I already have Avalon, so if I'm using a crossbow, I have that. Crossbow wielded by Sanctum Knights, driving tax fires dark bolts. Party Knights were sentenced to eternal stewardship of the Sanctum in a clandestine ritual carried out in the Great Depths. But today, the Sanctum receives nary a visitor. This is the single shot one. Alright. Still nifty. Ha. Huh. Okay. The items on the spike floors, I'm not sure I want that bad. I believe this is a way back up. To the upper row? Yeah. This leads back to that big staircase, so... Full circle prop there. Odd choice considering I'm th oh, okay, no, it just leads past the fall. Never mind. Blood bite ring. Not the ring I thought was here. I'm missing something. Oh, it might be behind that. Uh, that one's going to be a problem. Unless... I have all these Elizabeth mushrooms, so... My feet hurt. Shit, I never hit that. Forgot those spikes do uh, armor damage. So that ring is almost broken now. Great. It was the second dragon ring. Ooh. Yeah, I forgot these dragon rings are really, really fragile. Wait a minute, shouldn't I have gotten a third ring by now? Denial, another spell. I missed the ring somewhere in the dragon shrine. No, don't tell me that ring's a covenant item. Can't be. That wouldn't make any sense. So there's a first dragon ring, a second dragon ring, and a third dragon ring. Of the three, the first dragon ring is the hardest one to get, and it's also the worst one of the three. It's just the one you can get the earliest if you're really determined to get it. Second dragon ring is the one most people are going to have. Third dragon ring is somewhere in Dragon Shrine. I don't know how I missed it. Unless it's in the Dragon Airy. To the Majula. I don't want to go looking up a third dragon ring right now because I'll be Dark Souls 2 is the one of the trio that I don't have a complete working memory of. I mean, I, I don't have a complete working memory of three either, but I have a bit of a better, yeah, better memory. I will always be. The exception being DLCs, of course. I'm not very good in the uh, Dark Souls 3 DLCs at all with memory. Um. This does increase rolling resistance, right? 
or roll distance. I'm assuming that's what agility is. Every other point gives me an, one agility, so. Because I'm gonna need that. Oh, excuse me. When I get to the uh, third DLC, I am going to need a uh, uh, third DLC, second DLC. I'm gonna need adaptability if it increases my uh, rolling. Crush oysters. You've had quite a job. You, what a one. Miracles have been, and now. What? Well, it's. <laughs> you require more. Miracles. <laughs> we pres. You must. Miracles. And now. Make sure I have all her spells. Yes. No need. All right. All right. Time to die, bitch. Where's my war? Wait, when did I get four giant souls? Did the... No. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, maybe there are five. I thought there were only four, but I guess there's five. I forgot the twin giants in the gutter drop one. She's an extremely, extremely easy fight. Just watch out for her miracles. That was completely painless. More than it normally is. What the hell? I remember... I did a rapier build. Many, 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 many moons ago. I think it was my second character ever in Dark Souls 2. Uh, and I had a record rapier with poison on it. Just to be a dick. Because that strong attack with poison on it was like... You're, whoever I hit is getting poisoned. And she could nullify the poison pretty damn quickly. I had a hard time with her for some reason. Where'd my ring go? The dark dragon ring is somewhere in the dragon shrine or dragon airy. I think it's down by the first great shield wielding great or great keeper, but I'm probably wrong. Can't remember. Anyway, I got a... Where's that spike club at? There, barb club. Uh, let's upgrade that some and see how it does. Didn't I just see... Old knight hammer, okay. Is the... The barb club is a normal hammer, right? Yeah, hammer. So no different from me using the morning star. It's the same moveset. It's also, it has some bleed, but not as much as a morning star, which is fine. Nothing's been really bleeding. I have 20,000 souls and some dragon bones now, so let's see what happens. This is an odd look wearing this regal armor using the most brutish of weapons in the game. Alright, it still only has C scaling, that's odd. I'll be around. I was hoping for B. Two seventy plus one twenty five. Two seventy or two twenty plus one forty six. So sixty no, I can't count fifty. D 
and 20. Okay, so yeah, the, the, the barb club does have a higher base. It just doesn't scale as well. Which is to be expected, but that gives me an option. Now I can stick with this. And dual wield with the morning star if I wanted to. Well. What have you for me? You got a lot more rocks all of a sudden. Probably because I'm at end game. Most of the rocks are useless. But hey. Uh raw stone and mundane stone. And you got the dragon bone, twinkling titanite, a slab. And some chunks. I'll be back, don't worry. Don't get your panties in a bunch. <sighs> Hidden Sanctum Bonfire. Oh yeah, this DLC has one of the worst enemies in the game. I forgot about that area. Um, do I want to go human? No. Uh. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Don't get ahead of ourselves. And uh, yeah, she's there. Hello there. Okay, not bad. Sanctum Night Helm. Oh, they do drop their armor. Is this where certain somebody is at? Yeah, yeah, it is. So we're going to back up for a little bit. And use an effigy. And a friend has just invaded. So Thomas is no pushover. As long as he does something, that is. He doesn't seem to want to do anything except for dodging. Thomas, are you alright? All right, Thomas, it was good seeing you. What the hell is going on this playthrough? Thomas is supposed to be a pain in the ass to fight. This is the worst area in the game. Ugh. Remember the dragon asses from the original Dark Souls game? Well, now they have mouths. And they are not fun at all. There is a bonfire way in the back of this area. Yeah, straight back there. You can see it now. <sighs> Best thing to do is let them patrol. Not aggro them. They don't drop anything worth your time. I don't know if they're blind. Or if they can see. God, I hope they're blind. I think they're blind. Well, that one knows I'm here now. Okay, we're running. God damn it. 
I think they're blind. I just don't recall. Let me get down here again. We'll try a slumbering dragon crest ring. That bonfire honestly isn't even worth the effort because it's in a bad spot and you're going to get trapped there. Lingering dragon crest. Why well, only have lingerings? Giants. Do I not have any stealth rings? Oh, no. Did I buy the Jester set? Or did I just buy the Jester mask? Looking like I just bought the Jester mask. Even better. Grave Warden, Rust Mastodon, Dresser Sorceress. Yep, oh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, 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 that's creating the mail still. Great. Stealth is not an option, so we must rush. I want to kill her first. They have a very small chance of dropping their tiaras. Which isn't the best, but I wouldn't mind having one. Oh, sandwich. Yeah, this does considerably decent. Compared to the Morning Star, we're not too bad. I still would rather not have a hammer, but take what you can get. By the way, if you use um, a silence spell on J Jester Thomas to prevent him from casting pyromancies, it doesn't make him any less harmless. He has a melee weapon equipped. So he will still hurt. Okay. Run, 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 run. Shit. <laughs> These guys do have a set patrol route. Okay. Get those. Get that. Get the hell out of here. Okay. As soon as we get out of this water, we are never coming back to this bonfire. Unfortunately, there's no rare, uh, rusted iron ring in this game, so. Okay, your patrol route comes right this way. Okay, okay. Do not stop. Do not turn around. Do not look back. For any reason. Just keep moving forward. Dick. made the dragon stone so special it's just a plain rock I could have probably shoved anything in there and it would have worked isn't there okay this is a shortcut 
But there should be a knight. Right? Or a nice set. Great blood, great sword. That's a... Uh, I think that's another quality sword, isn't it? If it's a quality great sword, I'll use that. But I haven't used a quality great sword in... No, I can't say that. I used a mirror great sword for a lot of playthroughs. It's a dex great sword with a natural lightning and magic. Ooh. Interesting. Rachel wielded by the Drake Blood Knights, led by the Honorable Sir Yorg. The insignia chiseled upon its hilt symbolizes dragon's blood. To the Drake Blood Knights, fresh dragon blood was sacrosanct. They believed that by obtaining it, they could achieve a true understanding of life, transcending their own banal existence. <laughs> so there is a story to this DLC. As small of a story as it is, it's a story nonetheless. And I will try to recite it as best as I can recall. But, uh, Sanctum City of Sholva was a city that worshipped a dragon named Sin. Um, they idolized this dragon and treated it as a god, built the entire sanctuary around this dragon. Uh, the Drake Blood Knights, being dragon hunters by by default, upon discovering this dragon, set out to destroy, kill it, and by extent, all the worshippers of the dragon. A uh, great war broke out with the org, plunging his spear into Sin's chest. This caused Sin to expel all of the poison that he had kept within him. Contaminating the entire city, killing most everybody within, innocents and soldiers and knights alike, and causing, if I recall, it shamed Yorg that he was the one who caused all this destruction unnecessarily, and as such, he banished himself. Uh, we'll find out properly when we actually defeat our final boss. But I'm think I think that's mostly accurate. There was a time when this game came out where I was actually somewhat interested in the lore of this game and tried putting together some theories and story building myself. Of course it's been a while, so And staircase. Okay, this is the inner sanctum. Yeah, they have to go down here. Okay. Um, I'm going to put on the cat boots and the cat ring for now, just for safety's sake, because there's a lot of dropping down in this area. And as much, if I can keep as much health as possible, that would be ideal. So we're going to try and preserve as much of our health as we can. Illusion required ahead in short despair. I don't know what that means. There is a bonfire. I think it's in here. No, it's not. It's next floor down. Oh, Drake Bloods. Shit, they hit hard. But they're manageable. Ooh. 
there's a lot of twinkling and if I remember correctly this in particular has a lot of, like, of titanite lizard behind it yeah and since I did this the wrong way they are all gonna get away Unfortunate. But we'll come back for them. Treasure rune that was already looted by the Drake Bloods. Nothing else on this side of the building, if I recall. I think this is where the bonfire is at. No, not on this wall. Must be the next one down again. Or a different wall, maybe, but it's, I swear it was here. Hello. Go somewhere. time don't don't worry <sighs> not the goddamn time for this we're doing so well webcam here soon because this is going to get old it's worked reliably for years and then suddenly it just doesn't want to I wonder if it's my phone being a dick it's also a possibility it's you not you not the viewers the phone I like to be a fucking prick sometimes It must be the next floor down. Yeah, I think I remember because it's pretty obvious when you see it. It's going to be down here. Well, I mean, that made it pretty damn obvious didn't it <laughs> trick blood solace hi friend you want to rest no that's fine by me Good. You're not, you're not being good. Killing you again. I don't know what's causing my webcam to fuck up. Everything's plugged in right now, so it's just being a dick. Wonder if the hub is failing again. It wouldn't surprise me either.
You died a lot easier that time. Oh! Bitch! You thought. More treasure and the Drake blood set. Meh, a little bit light. Not much better. Boots are significantly better. How do they, how do they compare with Vangoros? better and I can still roll look at that did I get the shield by chance uh, doesn't look like it that's a shame we'll find one I don't know if that's a separate item or if it's excuse me or if it's something I have to farm for on my cat pants again. Okay, this is not the point. Okay. So this is the pointless area. To actually get down to the bottom, we have to start from up top. I don't know if it's my computer that's causing issues or if it's the webcam or if it's something. I don't know. It's all frustrating right now. I think there's more items over there, but it's a leap of faith to get there. We'll take it. We'll take the Yep, I see a shiny. because Greek Bloods like to hide around corners. You're going to pay for that one. Just you and me, friend. Come on. We're going to get there. You're going to feel something. It's gonna tick. Hey! Ah, damn, he hits hard. Oh no. How am I alive?
Nah. Good. Once I get the stuff over here, I'm never coming back. It better be worth it. Twinkling Titanite. Vine Bombs. Mostly Twinkling Titanite, which is, I guess, kind of worth it. How do I get back? Is the question. There's no way back up. So that's, that's the first issue. Second issue is where did I come down from? It was over here. Yeah, there's my there's my platform. Alright, we're at the bottom, which is uh not good. Not quite. This boss is not the easiest thing in the world when you only have four Estes. She could be the easiest boss, she, or she could be the hardest boss. It's all up to her, honestly. Sort spell uses, sort spell uses. Fully restore, fully restore, restores HP and spell uses, cures poison, restores HP. Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There might be, there is. Still hard, Ellie. Ellie's a body bag. Why would I want Ellie? Is that Ben Hart? There's my guy. If I can take Ellie with me, I'll take Ellie with me as well. But Ben Hart has to be. Yeah, I can take Ellie with me as well. When I say Ellie's a body bag, I literally mean that's what she's meant to for. She does not deal any damage. She's just meant to be a meat sponge. For taking hits. this ring anymore let's put on something more useful uh what will what's actually useful here um yeah maybe okay she doesn't actually have a cutscene i thought she did Uh-huh. So, she has the ability to summon shit. Depending on what she chooses to summon. Fuck you, webcam. I'm not doing this now. Okay. You are just throwing shit. Okay, is that bell set? It sure as hell is. And that is one of the things that could cause an issue when she summons it. Because he is still bell set.
Hey. Okay, Snelly, you're not doing your meat shield job. Benhart, please be alright. Go, Benhart, go! Woo! It's okay, I ate a mushroom. The worst part is that she can summon him more than once. There's nothing stopping her from bringing Bellstat back into the fight. That's what makes her a pain in the ass, and it looks like that's exactly what she's doing. Yeah. Yeah, she can summon Velstad as many times as she wants. You, what you want is for her to summon skeletons. And there goes Ellie. Because needless to say, skeletons are a lot more manageable than this chocolate fuck. Of course, that made contact. Fuck you, webcam. I'm not I'm not having a good night. I'm not having a good day. I don't know. Ben Hart, just tank a hit. You almost have it, Ben Hart. Don't die on me just yet. Oh, Ben Hart, you might want to move. Yeah, that's going to hurt Ben Hart. Okay, she summoned skeletons. We have a chance. Ben Hart's going to die, but we have a chance. Stop running from me like the bitch you are. Oh my god. Fight me, coward! Why are you immune? What was that? What was that? What was that? Am I even getting... Yeah, my mic's still coming through good. Let me see. Let me see. I got one more attempt at this, but let me talk with my webcam because it's not working. Wonder if I can get it to. No, I don't have. I have to get a Bluetooth antenna for my computer. That would probably be the go-to answer. Honestly, we need to get a Bluetooth antenna. So I'll try that. We'll start with that. My lights flicker. Okay, we're going to do this without Ellie. Is my webcam flickering?
and we're just gonna bring Benhart with us. Since I don't have to go into the side path anymore, I should be able to keep all of my Estus for this fight. If she summons skeletons off the bat, no problem. It's going to be an easy fight. She's not going to do that, though. I don't equip this ring and conflicts with the other ring. It was worth a shot. Um, let's put my Morning Star on a secondary hand. Where's my morning star at? Yes. Roll. Yes. Come on, Ben Hart, my friend. Okay, this will hurt her if I can get there. Come on, Ben Hart. Come on, Ben Hart. There you are. I'm just gonna eat a dragon charm. So I don't waste any healing. I don't suppose I can imbue this weapon, right? Can imbue, okay. Did not know I can imbue this one. Um, I have a feeling she would be like that. And this is a Alright, she's gonna be in for a world of hurt now. Her hitbox is so weird. Hmm. Okay, skeletons, we're good. Honestly, just don't even focus on the skeletons. As long as they're alive, she can't summon anything else. I think. Benhart, you are not doing a good job of distracting things. Do something. Keep the bellman occupied. Mm. 
And I will deal with her. Good job, Ben Hart. Just in time, too. Okay, this first boss is DLC done. I didn't think this DLC would... Well, honestly, I thought it would take longer, so... Two someone signed in this room, too. I think one of them Ben Hart again. Transcendent Eddie. Who I might bring. And... Abess Fiva. We will not bring. Why is it? No, I might bring her. I might bring them both. We'll see. For now, what we will do, though, is rest of the bonfire and call it a night. <sighs> I'm going to try and figure out something. This fucking webcam. Till then, tomorrow we'll be doing Power World. Hope everybody has a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and thank you as always for stopping by. See ya.